Hello, it's Daryl, and thanks for watching and listening to another vlog. This one um, has to do with a certain U.S. Department of Justice study about child prostitution, which has become a big problem. Uh, it estimates between 300,000 and 800,000 underage children are forced into child prostitution in the United States. 800,000 and those are the ones that they can keep track of, more or less. So that number is probably a bit higher. Now, these kind of statistics are troubling, uh, especially in a so-called developed country, uh, developed society, first world society, society where we assume that these types of things do not happen because we are democratically uh, inspired by the highest ideals of man, uh, of mankind have, that has ever been uh, put together. And yet we have close to a million underage child prostitutes in the United States. Now, why, do, why are these children exploited for money in a sexual manner? I don't know, it's like really uh, kind of sick and disgusting to even uh, try to get into the mindset of someone who could do this type of thing. But it's not even like someone. It's like you've got 800,000 to over a million uh, child prostitutes in America, and you've got some uh, really disturbed, evil, twisted dudes who are pushing this. You have the Johns, you have the pimps, you have the exploited children who can't really do anything but to submit. It's really distasteful even bringing it up, but it has to be brought up, it has to be exposed, it has to be talked about, and most importantly, it has to be ended. In a strange twist, twist, in a strange twist, uh, last year the Texas Supreme Court ruled that children under the age of 14 could not be arrested for prostitution, which means they can still be uh, prostituted and not get taken off the street by law enforcement. Now, this is, uh, apparently this frustrates some law enforcement uh, people because arresting these children were, was the, the only way they, to get them off the streets. And now, for some reason, uh, the judicial branch has said, well, no, they, they must not know what they're doing. You can't really charge them with a crime. <clears throat> I mean, it's done for two reasons. One, it's done for money, and one is done for a perversion, a gratification, to gratify some sort of pathology within men who do this stuff. You know, it's an evil so great, I'm at a loss to even describe it. And yet, within an equal money system, there will not be child prostitution because there will be no profit motive in exploiting children this way. I mean, children won't have to sell themselves. If they're in a bad situation at home, they can get help. They don't have to 
wander the streets looking for food and selling their bodies in order to survive. I mean, we can get rid of prostitution, child prostitution, and adult prostitution. It doesn't really need to happen anymore once we have the equal money system in place because there's no reason to do these things for money. Because we do these things, these sick things to survive. These children have to do these sick things to survive. Nobody's watching out for them. So, all I'm saying is this, equal money gets rid of prostitution, equal money saves children, saves lives. Equal money saves lives. And, uh, equal money will get psychiatric treatment for these sinister pathological vultures we laughingly call human beings. All right, that's all for now. I'll see you on the blog.